The Earthship Concept Earthship Biotecture has been developing a sustainable housing method called the Earthship Concept for over 30 years in New Mexico. This housing is independent of municipal utilities and presents solar, thermal, heating and cooling, solar, wind, electricity, water harvesting, contained zero discharge individual on-site sewage treatment, building with recycled materials, food production in the home. Solar and wind electricity, solar panels, windmill, batteries, and power organizing module. This building is completely off the grid, meaning it is not attached to any main utility lines. It produces all of its electric power with solar panels, and windmills can also be used. These on-site renewable energy sources charge a bank of batteries in the systems room. The power organizing module, a specific design produced exclusively by Earthship Biotexture, distributes energy from the batteries throughout the house. Super efficient lighting, pumps and refrigeration, in addition to natural ventilation, heating and cooling, greatly reduce the energy requirements for the home. These design down energy requirements meet the solar wind energy harvesting halfway a very reliable and free energy bank for the home that will never be dependent on fossil fueled centralized municipal utility systems is the result. Both people and the planet benefit from this arrangement. Thermal solar heating and cooling, solar gain, thermal mass encounter, natural convection. This building heats and cools itself naturally without burning fossil fuels or having any utility bills. The living spaces are surrounded on three sides with thermal mass in the form of used automobile tires rammed with earth. More earth is buried behind these walls than insulated with a thermal wrap. In the winter, glass along the whole south side of the building admits sun, which heats the mass of the very thick walls. When the temperature in the room drops below the temperature in the walls, heat is released from the walls into the space. In the summer, the sun is high in the sky and enters only into the planters. The naturally cool temperature of the deep earth cools the building. Natural, convection-driven ventilation from underground cooling tubes and operable windows and skylights provide additional cooling. No money or fossil fuel is used for comfort in these homes. Building with natural and recycled materials. Used automobile tires, plastic and glass bottles, aluminum and steel cans, natural mud and straw plaster, reclaimed wood, scrap metal. The walls of an earthship are built with used automobile tires, rammed with earth. These massive walls are load-bearing and are wide enough to also serve as their own foundation. No concrete foundations are required. The tire, a steel-belted rubber casing, is simply a form for the rammed earth which creates the thermal mass. These building blocks are filled and compacted in place and staggered like bricks. Each earthship uses between 500 and 5,000 tires. Small interior walls of the earthship may be made from aluminum or steel cans or glass or plastic bottles. Earthen plaster is used for the interior of most of the building. A mixture of sifted dirt from the site, sand, chopped straw, and water are used. The chopped straw is added to help bind the plaster and prevent cracking. Other earthship projects have incorporated sheep's wool insulation, metal paneling from discarded household appliances, adobe bricks for interior walls, straw bales as insulation for unburied tire walls, reclaimed materials from demolition sites for doors and cabinets, and much more. Local byproducts of modern society are used for housing in an effort to minimize the use of trees, which are becoming precious, and concrete, which is damaging to the environment to produce. Water harvesting. Roof catchment, cisterns, water organizing module, solar hot water heater. Every earthship harvests all its own water from rain and snow that falls from the sky onto the roof. This water is stored in cisterns buried outside the building. The water then gravity feeds a panel called the water organizing module. This unit filters, pressurizes, and pumps the water to fixtures throughout the building and to the solar hot water heater mounted on the roof. An earthship uses all its water four times. These water harvesting systems help preserve existing aquifers and reduce the need for centralized municipal water systems. They may be used in climates that get as little as seven inches of total annual precipitation. An earthship uses all of its water four times and treats it on site in contained sewage treatment planters called botanical cells. Once used gray water from the sinks and shower travels through a particle filter into interior gray water treatment planters. These planters are recirculated by solar pumps. As the gray water travels through the rubber lined planter, it grows plants, is oxygenated by the plant roots, and cleaned up enough to be used for toilet flushing. A pump panel draws clean gray water from a well at the end of the botanical cell and fills the toilet tank for flushing. 
The black water from the toilet then goes outside to a conventional septic tank, which overflows into another rubber-lined botanical cell. Landscaping plants are grown with used, clean black water instead of fresh water, and groundwater supplies are preserved and protected from contamination. Food production. Gray water botanical cell, year-round food production. In an Earthship's interior gray water botanical cells, you are able to grow food year-round. Tropical plants, such as banana trees and hibiscus, flourish even when there is snow outside. Earthship residents pick their own organic produce fresh for any meal. They can also simply graze throughout the day. The latest Earthship design, the Phoenix, features expanded food production capabilities with a second and third greenhouse and over one-third of total square footage dedicated to food production. There will be fish production, chickens and goats for meat, eggs, milk and cheeses, in addition to fruits and vegetables. The effort being to produce enough food in one's home to survive. Earthships directly address the global issues of our time. These issues have become more serious in the recent months due to a heightened awareness of global warming. The Earthship concept is directed at curbing global warming and at the very least offering a direction that will sustain human life on Earth longer as planetary conditions worsen.